Hi, I'm Duke. And I'm Lola. And this is another episode of What the... <gasps> Retro Recipe. That's right. Retro recipes that should have never been made. But somehow, somebody made these recipes. We're going to make it. We're going to take you through the process really quick. And then we're going to try it out and see, is it as bad as we think it's going to be? We don't know. Maybe don't it's know. amazing. Probably or maybe not. not. Probably not. <laughs> So what okay. Us today, Lola? So today, um, I'm excited. I get a lot of cook, a lot of recipes out of these like tiny little cookbooks that I find in vintage stores. We're doing a tuna lima bake. A tuna lima bake. Lima. Lima. Lima like bean. Oh. Tuna lima bean I bake. I always thought, you know what lima beans are missing? Tuna. And vice versa. So of course, to start off, we have to start with tuna and this is chunk light tuna in water and it says chunk solid packed tuna coarsely flaked so we'll flake that um we also got some lima beans we got a thaw these they're frozen lima beans it says that they need to be thawed the other thing that i'm nervous about is oh boy. cream of celery cream of celery cream of celery that I, will add a flavor i don't it. eat cream of anything because i'm gluten free but i'm gonna taste it i won't eat much and then we have packaged processed cheddar cheese cut into triangles so i got this packaged processed cheddar cheese hey hey it's hard to say it's hard to say. Say it three times fast. Package processed cheddar cheese. There you go. One time. Wow, you're right. um, you got a nail. And then we're gonna have some toast cut cut into triangles on the top. So I just got some regular old white bread, but it's actually better than what they probably had back in the day because it's gluten free and I didn't want no gluten in it. So I'm excited. Look at this. It's not that much. It's actually gonna be a pretty easy. Well, it's not to make a, it's thing. not a lot of ingredients. It's more of the combination of ingredients. I'm also concerned because there's like no salt, no pepper, no anything else. There's nothing else. Who needs it when you've got cream of celery to tie it all together? I guess all of our flavor is coming from that mm. cream of celery. Yeah, because tuna has no flavor. Um, Alright, so let's whip it up, baby. Yeah, Amy. let's whip it up. Okay, so I have the oven on to 375. Um, I'm gonna get out our can opener and start going to town, getting this thing all opened up. So we have our tuna fish. Um, it's interesting also, like there aren't always um, measurements. So they just said a bag of lima beans. I hope that's the size that they need. Seems like a lot of lima beans, but you know what? Maybe that just makes it better. So I have the chunk white tuna in the water. This does not look it's delicious. chunk white tuna. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna flake. It's already flaked. I don't know how you can flake and it. Did you even say how much? One can. Oh, one can. Oh, one cup. But I I made sure that I got enough the right ounces. Uh, so this is the right measurement. Yeah, you don't want to hold back on that tuna. No. Tuna Why smells. would you do such thing? We all want the tuna. Doesn't so. smell good. Okay. Smells like tuna. So then we're going to we're going to combine the tuna soup, water, and limas. So we're going for the limas now. I'm so excited. Oh, and they're thawed. Oh wow, they're actually a pretty color green. They kind of match me. Look at that. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Look at I look. I didn't even plan this, people. I didn't think the tuna would be um, pink because I get tuna fish that's albacore and it's white. Okay. And I didn't realize that the pe the lima beans would be All right. green. You're not as nearly as excited uh, as I am. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh boy. So now we're going in for the cream of celery. Cream of celery. Okay, let's go for this. Okay, okay. This doesn't really want to fit in here. This is kind of a big spatula. Spatula. And what better way to say I love you than the gift of the spatula? Spatula. Let's use the tuna fork to get out the very last. <laughs> The, the fork forever branded. The, the tuna, tuna fork. fork. Yeah, this is now the tuna fork. If you come to our house and you get the tuna fork, you know you're special. Okay. So. As she enters her bright new kitchen to cook her first meal, can she prepare those favorite dishes of Tim's just like his mother used to make? Go ahead, try one. All you have to do is follow the recipe 
No, Margie, your cake didn't turn out so well because you misunderstood a term in your cookbook. There's still time to make another cake before Tim comes home to lunch. It'll be right this time, and he'll never know the difference. Yes, even Margie found that she could learn to cook when she discovered the significance of the terms used in cooking. And Tim will never know she ruined her first cake. Um, and then I need one fourth cup water. What? What hair? Ooh, yummy. Ooh, boy. I. It's quick. I'll give it that. Yeah. It's a very. You know, it's for that mom on the go, as we've talked about before. Yes. To whip it up, baby. I mean, think about it. This has every food group. Yeah, every food group. It's for the mom who's been drinking champagne all afternoon with her friends. Yeah. And pinochle. Not champagne. This mom's been drunk. The this mom has been drinking scotch. That's right. Yeah. Scotch, cigarettes in the house, playing pinochle with your friends, yeah. gossiping about everything else that's going on, watching a little I Love Lucy in the corner, and all of a sudden love it. you go, oh my God, the kids are coming home. I hear the bus down the street. I only mm -hmm. have like five minutes. She's got to reapply her lipstick, get ready for right. dad, for dad the mister to come up home. that goodness. So take a little look. Take oh. a little look-see. Does that look good? Show it to the camera. Does that look good? Does it match? Do we look good together? You have a look together. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Okay. No. No. Duke's gonna no, smell this. No. Yeah. No. Come on. No, come on. No, come on, baby. No, it's no, not gonna. No, no, it won't no, bite no. you. Just say no, like Nancy Reagan said. It won't bite you. Nancy no, Reagan well, was trying to you. Like okay. you said on the last video, okay. I'm gonna wait okay. until it's all put together in the way that they wanted it okay. presented to me. So. Okay. So I'm gonna get ready. So I'm gonna turn it into a baking dish. I have my baking dish all ready. Here we should go. Yeah, I think that if this is delicious, um, I'm serving this to Duke every night. Right. Dinner when you put something good, together. I mean, like, I mean, like, okay, I agree with you. If it's as good as tacos, mm -hmm. you could serve it to me every night. Tacos or enchiladas, I could eat every In fact, night. If it's as good as tacos, I would pay you to serve it to me every night because it's not good. Oh my gosh. I'm excited about this dish. This is so easy. I'm taking this to the next potluck I get invited to. Okay. I want to get invited back to the potluck. So place cheese triangles on top of toast triangles. So I need to take three slices of toast and I need to, well, I'm bread and I need to toast the bread. So three slices of bread. It's fun to eat supper with your family. Especially when there is good food on the table. Strong, healthy bodies. They are good foods to eat. Father is certainly enjoying his supper. So is Carol. So is mother. Just look at that plate. Aren't you feeling well, Bill? Aren't you hungry? What can be the matter? Yes, Bill, you're getting a stomachache. So um, we have our three slices of toast that we're gonna cut in little triangles. Fancy. Fancy, That's yeah. A fancy Sammy cut. When your yes. mom, when, when mom would like. When mom you loved you. When you're a little you. kid, she was just a crisscross cut. You know, she loved you. She was yeah. just a sideways cut. You're like mom's no. Mom's like mom's not happy with you right mm -hmm. now, buddy. That's the good cut. And if she cut the um, crust off too, I don't even know how to open this. Oh, I found it. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. it's like. Okay, I'm excited. Uh, this way. Look at this. This is so fancy. Crisscross applesauce. Chris, there's so no applesauce. We're going to place the cheese triangles on top of the toast. Okay, arrange in the center of the dish. And I did see how this was done. So folk, folks at home, look at that. Let's put it look in. Look at that. Through the magic of video, we will pull it out shortly. Want to smell? Want to smell a vision it? No, I do okay. not. Okay, guys. We'll Bye. see you in 45 minutes. Don't, don't, don't. Make a cocktail. We've done it. We we've, brought it out of the oven. We've done something. <laughs> In all of its uh, tuna lima glory. Um, I'm. <laughs> if you can't see it, hopefully you can see it. Oh, it's pretty this clear. Is it's it doesn't smell horrid. I well, mean. I'm more, like, I'm like, we always make these comments, but this is not, it's not a, a 
pretty presentation. No. But when I looked at the picture that they have inside the casserole book, it's really not much worse than that. Take a nice piece out of the center. Thank you. Oh my gosh. There's a certain, uh, you know, gelatinous consistency. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, now the tuna smell is coming That's out. That's pretty much exactly what I was anticipating. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Are we gonna right. share a dish between us? We're gonna share this. I don't feel like we need to. Okay. So this is what everyone waits for. This is what y'all want. This is why we're like, hey, we just need to get to it. <laughs> it's, it's lima beans, tuna fish, celery, cream of celery soup, with Velveeta on white um, So we gotta get a piece of the bread, right? Yeah, we gotta get a piece of the bread. Of the rules. Wow, that is like cutting. Remember, you're gonna have to take a second bite, so like, don't just take like all of it. Yes. Oh, I'm on worried. the bread, the rest of this is mushy. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna put this underneath the bread. I think that means that he's covering it up, he doesn't have any, it's just bread. Okay. I can already tell, it seems pretty good. Wait, wait, gotta toast. Toast. Go one in. Go on in. Wow. Okay. First impression. My first impression. I was in a bunker because I thought the end of the world was going to happen. And I like dug a little bunker in my backyard. Mm -hmm. And I was living down there. And like this is what I had to eat. It's a little bad. It's, it's a little bad. surprisingly bland. The smell like, When I was a kid, eat. my mom would make like tuna fish casserole, which had obviously tuna and cream of mushroom soup and all that. And you still have that, that tuna flavor. This actually with the cream of celery, so I don't know what it is. It's just like the least tasteful lima beans I've ever had. Like they don't even taste like lima, like nothing in this dish. It's, the tuna, it's, it tastes like tuna. It's, it's not like, I was expecting to be like blown away with the tuna or the celery. I feel cheated, I have something. to say, because I, I was, was really hoping- something so much worse and- I was really hoping the cheese would be, oh, there's some cheese in that. I really was even hoping the cheese, the cheese even was, have a taste. yeah, I was yeah, hoping it, does, it doesn't have a taste. More, like more The bread something. doesn't taste like anything, the cheese doesn't taste like anything, it just all amalgamates, I use the word amalgamate, but it does, it just like blends into one, Hard maybe to get. some more, I don't know. Hmm. It's surprisingly like you could actually eat this. Yeah. I don't know why it's possible. If, if you were trapped in a bunker because you thought the end of the world had happened. In a million years, if someone had told me these ingredients, I thought I would never think this, but. Cheers. It's, okay. it's, it's edible. Hmm. It's not good. It's not like you're sitting here going, "Man, this is the best thing I ever had." It's, it's really not that. So here's my. It doesn't thing. even smell that strong, really. I once it's cooked. Originally, it smelled. It was very strong when we were making it. Yeah. I would never make this or no. serve it. Why? I, no, I'm saying why like that. I'm like, why would you make it? Oh, that's, I'm that's like, that's what I meant. It wasn't like why wouldn't you? It was like Dude, why? Why? Like, there's no reason to make it. It's. I would never make this or serve this. I would, if I was at a potluck and this was an option, I would never eat this. If I went to someone's house and they served this, I would happily eat it because my mother raised me with manners. But it's like the tuna is, the tuna has more texture than flavor. How is it possible that they could knock the flavor out of tuna? Mm -mm. Something that you would eat, or is this something you would not eat? I would not eat it. But the better question is, why did they make it? What the food is it? What the, the part food of it. is it? If you're looking at sheer nutritional value. It has all four food groups. I already said this. But it also is like densely protein. Heavy it's protein. Because you've got cream, you've got cheese, you've got beans, lima beans, tuna. and tuna. This is like, and, and so you've got all the food groups and that. Oh, I'm getting so you know, honestly, now. It's probably why they stayed so thin because the food wasn't that spectacular. And it covered all the food groups, and it got the job done. And that's the whole thing. It's like if you're just eating food, is like this is this is a way to get fuel into my body, and yeah. I'm gonna leave. This would get it done. Get it done. So, there we are. Okay. Another episode. We, of came, food. we saw. We ate some food. We ate it. We ate the food, and we didn't die. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>